My Flight Simulator 2020 Ready Gaming PC Build. Stay tuned. Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I made and how I built my PC that's ready for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Every single component in this build fits into the recommended or above category, so hopefully it should work quite well with the upcoming simulator. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I do flight training videos, flight sim videos, trip reports and a lot more. Remember that this is my first build. Uh, so I've probably done some things wrong, but it works well. Remember to subscribe because if you love everything about aviation, you've certainly come to the right place. But now, let's get into this video. Here look at the newer components I've bought. We've got a CPU, which is an R5. 3600, our motherboard which is a B450 Pro M2 Max by MSI and we've also got 16GB of DDR4 RAM by Corsair, very nice. Got an almost brand new GTX 970 which I bought recently and had installed in my old computer and of course we've got a 2TB hard drive, I'll be buying an SSD soon and we've got a CX500 for my power supply. Let's get in. motherboard fits really well into the case and the IO shield of course you use as a guide so that helped and there wasn't a lot of issues here. Let's move on to getting power supply unit in and connecting up all the wires. <laughs> So I've got to be honest, the wires for like the LED lights and that, they were really hard to install. They weren't labelled very well and they almost uh, certainly, whenever you search them up online, came up with a Chinese manufacturer, so it was really bad to do that. But I got it done in the end. Cable management wires, I didn't do it too badly. There's only three main wires you can see visibly in the case, but now we're ready to test it. Right, so we've got the cables all sorted out now. My cable management wasn't too bad. I've only got three main cables on display in the case. You might be able to see them uh, before or after this. So yeah, I've got my CPU cable, obviously. I've got my main motherboard cable, and I've got my uh, GPU cables. So yeah, they kind of have to be on the front. But anyway, let's see if this starts up. Well, look at that. That's amazing. I'm going to presume that, yeah, you can swap the colours of it by uh, pressing the reset button, which is nice. I was quite surprised that this actually worked because there were some cables from the case that weren't connected in any way, shape, or form. And yeah, the fan is also correlating. My monitor started. Yep, there we go. Pro Series. So that's working. Uh, this is really good news because this means I can make Flight Simulator 2020 content for you guys as well as lag free streams with this processor and also improved X-Plane 11 content. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a like and comment down below. 
stay on my channel for future videos on FS2020, X Plane 11, and even FSX if I'm feeling old. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I've been Pilot Stud. Bye bye. Thank you.